All right, these are the four larger fidget spinners that I have from the last unpackaging, plus one that I've thrown in, the Steampunk Spinners Fat Boy Nano. And let's get to the testing. Okay, these are four fidget spinners that I got from the last batch and I added one more in that I've had open for quite some time, the uh, um, Steampunk Spinners Fat Boy Nano. I've had this for a while and I like it so I, and I haven't reviewed it yet so I threw this one in with the five. I've got five fairly large spinners. Um, so what we've got here, we've got the first one which is uh, the Mech Army Copper. It a uh, little bit of a it got an average spin duration of five minutes and forty one seconds, which qualifies it as superior. Um, a little bit a little bit of variability and depending on how it was held, but not too much. Um, the appearance I didn't really like the appearance very much. Uh, it, it just looks kind of clunky to me. I gave it a six, and the feel it's, it doesn't really feel that good. It's not that great to to, to spin gets stuck up a lot so I gave it a six on that perceived quality I gave it a seven it's copper with apparently a plastic outer outer covering um, so it got an average an overall score of 6.6 .6, which qualifies it as good um, which to me isn't quite good enough for the price which was 5980 so it's a fairly expensive spinner and it, and it weighs 66 grams so this one, for that price, I think I might pass on it. Um, but it's not too bad, it's a pretty good spinner. And then after that, our Steampunk Fat Boy Nano, which is really heavy, that's the main thing you notice about it. It weighs 176 grams, and I paid $175 for this, and I kind of lied, this one, this one I got, oh no, I did get this one on Amazon, it was this uh, Rotoblade Stubby that I got on eBay instead of Amazon, I had it in the, in the uh, Amazon pile, so I mistakenly put it in here. But this one I did get on Amazon for $175. It's currently unavailable there, but I've seen it other places for as little as $89. So you can get it cheaper than I got it. Didn't get the best spin duration in the world, an average of four minutes and 41 seconds. Um, we were right around five to five and a half minutes when it's, when it's held horizontally, but vertically it didn't do so well, it only in, in the three and a half to four minute range. So its average spin duration was four minutes and 41 seconds with a fair amount of variability. 30, 39 seconds is mean variability. The appearance I gave it a nine because I think it looks great. The feel I gave it a seven because it is a little bit too heavy to, to get going fast with just one hand. And the perceived quality I gave it an eight. So the overall score was a 6.64 which qualifies it as good. 
I wish it had been a little bit better for the price though. <clears throat> the next one, which has the name that I'm not going to pronounce on video, it's spelled P-W-N-A-G-E, I'm not going to say it. Um, got quite good spin times of anywhere from five and a half up to seven and a half minutes. It got an average spin duration of 6.31, 6 minutes 31 seconds. So that qualified it as a, getting a nine for its spin time. The appearance, I think it looks really nice. It's got these, uh, it's, it's all black and it's got these uh, little, little shiny discs on it, which are different colors. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, so I gave it an eight for appearance. The feel, it does feel really good. It's, it's very easy to use and uh, it's, fun, it's fun to play with. It's a good one. Perceived quality, I gave it about an eight. So it seems like a very good, good, good uh, quality. They say it's made of titanium. Cost thirty-seven dollars on Amazon, and it weighs sixty-four grams, so it's like, it's got a little bit of weight to it. And uh, so, got, so I got an overall score of seven point nine seven, which is very good to just slightly under superior. So this one for thirty-seven dollars, I think it's worth it. I think that's a good one to get. Then we have this this thing, which was mysterious to me when I first opened it, but I figured out what it is. It's, it's called the Dubell Brass Hammer. Um, it weighs 200 grams. It's very, very heavy. Um, and it got very long spin times, an average spin duration of 11 and a half minutes. Um, it, went, it went even longer when it was held vertically than horizontally. Um, however, the appearance, it's kind of plain. I gave it about a six for appearance and then for feel, it's got, I gave it about a four because it's, it's not easy to use. It's pretty difficult. Um, you, it's hard to get it going good um, and it just feels uh, not so great. Perceived quality about a seven though because it apparently has a very good, uh, good bearing in it and everything and, and it, it goes pretty well. So it got an average subjective rating of 5.6. Average spin duration of 11 and a half, 11 minutes and a half and 30 seconds. Mean variability 44 seconds. Um, so I got an overall score of 7.1, which qualifies it as very good. I did think of one use for this thing. Um, you can kind of you could use this as a to, to work out your uh, your spinner fingers. You could build up some muscle in your hands that way by using something like this. So it's got some use to it. <laughs> But overall, it's a little bit too heavy to carry around with you. And the last one was the Rotoblade Stubby right here, which I actually got on eBay and not Amazon. Uh, the first thing you notice about it is it's very quiet. It makes almost no noise at all. Um, so it's got a nice bearing in it. For appearance, I gave it a 7. A little, it, looks, it looks nice, but not great. Uh, the feel, I gave it a 9. It feels really, really good. It's got a... Everything's all rounded off really nice and it's easy to, pl to play with. And for perceived quality, I gave it an eight. Got an average spin time of eight minutes and two seconds. Now, it, there was the biggest problem it had was that when it's held horizontally, it is slower than when it's held vertically. Held horizontally, it got uh, anywhere from seven minutes and 15 seconds to seven minutes and 43 seconds held vertically it got around nine and a half minutes. So there was some variability there that caused it to get penalized a little bit. So I got an overall, an overall score of 8.4, which makes it the winner of this bunch. And that qualifies it as superior. And if it had not been so variable, it would have got into the, the, nine, uh, the score of nine, which, which would be excellent. But that little bit of variability got it punished a little bit. So that's these. Now we're, we're done with all 10 of these spinners and we're going to go on to the next thing in just a minute here after I get all these spinning. And the little ones over here. Alright, we'll see you next time.